Welcome to the Plant-Based Podcast. Did you know that plants are truly amazing? Not only can you grow them and eat them, you can also wear them, drink them, nourish your skin with them, and so much more. Let Ellen and Michael inspire you to love plants as much as they do, as they chat with the movers and shakers in this wonderful plant-based world. So, let's dig in. Hey guys, surprise! <laughs> we said we weren't here again until uh, after Christmas, but actually, we forgot to give you the poinsettia tips that we promised. So, in this very, very miniature episode, we've actually got those poinsettia care tips direct from the breeders and growers Lazzuri in Italy. I hope they're useful to you, and I hope you enjoy them, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Best of love or luck, or something like that, from Ellen and I. See you next year, guys. Enjoy. Hey, so we've got some more Christmas plant tips for you guys. I'm here with Andrea Lazzari, and we're at Lazzari Genetics in Italy to talk to you about poinsettias. So, welcome. Thank you. Hey. So, tell me briefly about the company before we talk about this very famous Christmas star. That's what you guys call it here, isn't it? So, if we're talking about Ponsetze, Ponsetze is a very, uh, it's a fashion, a fashion mm -hmm. and trendy product which have been used and is always been used for Christmas. So, mm -hmm. the habit of the people is to buy a, a, a Christmas star for, um, for Christmas. Uh -huh. So, uh, and this is came out already many many years, mm -hmm. and uh, our our genetic. Uh, uh, in the past, we have another genetic. Today, we have our own genetic, mm -hmm. and our genetic is performing in not only Europe but worldwide mm -hmm. genetic. Superb. And I think customers may not realize, but when you see a white one, you were the guys that really set the benchmark for good white ones. You've got Alaska is the very famous variety, isn't it? That's that's correct. Yeah. That's that's right, and. Uh, this white is is unique and mm -hmm. it's a very flexible variety. It's a very stable variety. Shelf life has mm -hmm. a good shelf life. So for the end consumer, it's also a mm -hmm. good point to keep in the house. Cool. So yeah, so obviously you can give growers tips on how to grow the best, but we're talking about people at home on yeah. the podcast today. So how can people keep poinsettias happy? Because a lot of people get disappointed. They, oh, all my leaves fell off or la, la, la. What do we need to do? What is the perfect light levels, heat, water? What would be your advice direct from the grower? <laughs> My direct advice mm -hmm. for the for you, I think, is to all, when you already buy the mm -hmm. plants, look how the line of the leaves are. Mm -hmm. If the leaves are falling down, so maybe this is already an old plant. Uh -huh. Look a little bit on the cias, the ciasia level, uh -huh. which is the flower in the center, have not too many and too open. Mm -hmm. So that means you need to buy a plant which is not over mature. Oh, okay, uh -huh. and then try also to see where they are keeping. Of the plants, if they are keeping the mm -hmm. plants in a temperature which is in a storage of uh, 40, 50, 60 degrees, that's okay. But when it's below, it's making uh, they keep it, they keep it outside mm -hmm. and not uh, on a cold side that means eight degrees, six degrees, mm -hmm. that's also damaging the products. Mm -hmm. So, try just when you are choosing the type of products, how it look like. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I think your instinct as a, a buyer, you see when the plant, plant is more healthier mm -hmm. or less healthier. Okay. That that's just when you are buying. Then after when you are bringing it at home, mm -hmm. please don't uh, bring it at home and leave it in your car for yeah, yeah. six hours. Is it a good and idea to and take and a big blanket to wrap it in? Maybe. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's important to keep it to put it immediately in your car and not go in and not have it too cold. That's uh -huh. important. Not okay. cold, too cold that mean a ten, twelve degrees, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And bring it at home. And you you Take and you, you take it and you put it on the, on the uh, just on the on the sideboard on the table exactly. maybe on the dinner table for Christmas. or the dinner table yeah. or, or also n not far away from the light also mm -hmm. so the okay. plant the plant like the lights not the direct mm -hmm. lights and not 
have to have some winds or something oh, okay. like that. Uh-huh. And that's imp- and that's mm-hmm. important. The ideal air temperature is between 80 and 22 degrees. Okay. Uh-huh. That's the ideal temperature. Mm-hmm. And look after w- the water. Mm-hmm. Not over watering mm-hmm. the plants. Okay. It's not necessary. Just when it dries out? Just when it dries mm-hmm. out. Okay. Le- keep leave it uh, leave it a few days, maybe mm-hmm. three or five days, mm-hmm. dry it out and then give it a little bit of water. Mm-hmm. But not too much mm-hmm. because the plants already have done this just they need this kind of a little bit of water to mm-hmm. live until depending how long mm-hmm. you keep it in your house can leave it uh, people are living until February March or mm-hmm. April okay because is it possible to get them to flower again the next year or is this a lot of work and you should buy a new one and support nurseries like you <laughs> What's your I, advice? I, I, my advice is a lot of work. It's mm-hmm. quite complicated. I think yeah. I suggested to buy another one. Only if you want a challenge, yeah. If you want a challenge, <laughs> why not try okay. to do it? It could be a good challenge mm-hmm. for, to do it, but it's not very simple. Okay. It's not simple. So you guys are obviously famous for the reds. You've got a lot of famous varieties, the Alaska. Any other unique ones? Because I've seen one that looks like a rose, and I think that is amazing. Rocco Star. Tell us about that variety. Rocco is amazing. I'm in love with it. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's very, very special yeah. and quite unique. Rocco Star, we have it in red, and we have it also in white. And it's something which is like a rose. No? It really so, is. Yeah, it is. I think it needs some lovely branding, and you could sell it as a living rose at Christmas or something. It's just... Oh. It's beautiful, honestly. Uh, it, that's that's correct. And people mm-hmm. and, pe- and people is, is, is more an, a niche product. Mm-hmm. People, uh, some people uh, like it. And this kind of uh, rocker style, you can also use it as cut flowers. Uh-huh. So in Japan, we have a, we have some uh, we have a distributor who uh-huh. is uh, they have some producers which are producing for the cut flower business. Uh-huh. They make stems like between fourteen and fifty centimeters. Really? Yes. Make decoration. How long will they last in in vast for? And then they put it. They have to yeah. put it. Uh, I, ha- I think they have to put it before they are when they are cut it they uh-huh. have to put it in a hot water oh, okay. and then when it's in the hot water it's keeping longer mm-hmm. because it's, it's keeping at least between two and three weeks as cut mm-hmm. as cut mm-hmm. flowers to say we send you some uh, pictures yeah brilliant oh well thank you very much for giving our listeners a few tips on getting the boys best getting the best poinsettia this Christmas because it is a much loved plant all around the world, all across Europe and up and down the UK as well. Mm-hmm. So it, 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 it is yeah. worldwide still a uh, Christmas uh, mm. gift and uh, I wish you a very mm. good Christmas. Brilliant, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> The music for the Plant Based Podcast is part of the song Grow by Mikey James. And our editor is Gareth Patch of Semi Echo. 